What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a mermaid. Now a mermaid is pretty much a fully fledged character and the first thing you're going to need when drawing any kind of character, typically a human character, you're going to need a plan. So as you can see on my page here, I have the face already drawn here, all those guidelines to indicate the face, and then I have all these stick lines to look like a stick figure, and that's what you're going to need to draw like a human character pretty much, or anthropomorphic character. Because if this weren't here, and I were to start to draw the mermaid right here, right now, I wouldn't know how the different body parts move, and then I'd be forcing a lot of last minute decisions on myself, which I don't want to do, especially in a video tutorial like this. So if you want to draw a mermaid along with me, and you don't want to use this pose, I recommend looking up reference photos like on Google, on Pinterest, and get that movement in place before you get to drawing the mermaid. All you got to do is draw some stick lines, like here I got um, a couple of movement lines for the arms, and since the mermaid doesn't have regular human legs and feet, all I have is just this line of action here, because that's going to be the tail. But yeah, the first thing you're going to need for drawing a mermaid, or pretty much any character, is your plan. How is each body part going to move? Think about all that before you get to drawing any kind of human character. But since I already have mine down, we can get started. Okay, so I zoomed in on the face, and what I am going to do is draw in some eyes on this little horizontal guideline here. And the eyes that I like to draw, my specific style of eyes, they're, uh, they look like the top bun of a hamburger. So that's why I'm drawing the eyes like this. And then when drawing female eyes, because I'm drawing a female character in this video, I like to have a piece of mascara coming off of the eyes. It's going to look somewhat like a brush stroke coming off of the eyes. Something like this, but I'm going to do it on this side too so you guys can see that better. So just a piece of mascara. And then along this arch here, I like to have that being a little bit thick. like that and then right here on the face where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect that's where the nose is gonna start and it's gonna curve off of this eye right here just draw in like a little nose and then right below that nose and also along this line there's gonna be a mouth and then the chin okay so that's pretty much the face in a nutshell and then right above everything I'm gonna draw in some eyebrows like that and then when I draw my eyebrows I like to have them super thick coming close to the middle of the face and then as you're drawing it away from the face it'll taper at the end so it'll eventually come to a point while you're drawing it or at least the way I'm drawing it. So, see it being super thick over here. Then it's going to come to a point. Like that. And then just color that in. Okay. And I like to show her cheeks too. Just drawing like a couple cheek lines on the eyes. Make her look excited and happy. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then while we're still up here, I can just draw in a random hairstyle for this mermaid character. If you want to draw a different hairstyle too, um, feel free. Up to you. I'm not limiting you to what you can do when drawing a mermaid character because as an artist, the possibilities are endless. Okay, and typically when you're looking up references of mermaids online, you would see that they have like a little starfish or a little flower in their hair. So what I'm going to do for my character is I'm going to draw like a little flower, like right on this side of her hair. And let me erase a few things so that way I can see what I'm doing. You can also draw a starfish. Again, I'm not limiting you to what you can do, but you know, that's another idea. I'm just going to keep throwing ideas to you guys. 
don't know when it's gonna happen, but yeah, I'm gonna just keep throwing ideas for you guys. Like, here's a, I'm gonna put six petals on this flower. And it's gonna look somewhat like a starfish when you first look at it. Maybe the color can determine that too. And speaking of which, I'm gonna color this later, so. Um, just drawing the flower in. Don't know what color that's gonna be yet, but I'll develop that when I get there. Cross that bridge when I come to it, I guess. Okay, so now that we got all that drawn, let's move down and begin to draw the torso. So the female torso is not hard to do, but we do have a stopping point down here, which is what this line is on this line of action here. So that's our stopping point. It's right there by the hand. So what I'm gonna do to draw the female torso is I'm gonna match this same curve just for the torso. Then make some sort of S curve on this side. And finish it off down here. Okay. And then I'm gonna give this female character some breasts too. So just gonna draw in some breasts. Just fix the shape of the torso. And then just draw another breast on this side. Like that. So we got the female torso drawn. But let's come back up here to draw the neck and shoulders. Well, the neck is already drawn, but let's make the shoulders. Like that. And then when we draw the shoulders, when we make our line, it's going to go around this little circle joint. Okay. And then when we draw the elbow, it's also gonna go around the circle. So it's not gonna touch it at all. And then when we draw the forearm, it's gonna make somewhat of a straight line, just like the guideline, okay? And then the inside of the forearm is gonna make somewhat of a curve like this. And then come inwards to make the hand, which we're gonna do in a second. So now it's looking more like an arm. Okay, and then now let's uh, finish creating the arm. I just make it a little line like this. And then just erasing that torso line up there. And then erasing this torso line too. Okay, and then while we're still up here, we can draw in another line. And then I forgot to put like a little point on this line here to indicate the elbow. I got my green pencil here, I can do that now. Just draw like a little circle. That's the elbow, it's halfway point of the arm. So all we gotta do is draw that in. And I'm gonna have the arm kind of taper as it comes close to the elbow, but not exactly taper, it's just gonna come inward some more. So you see how wide this arm is? Like, you can't see much of it because of the torso, but here's the width of the arm up here and now here's the width of the arm down here close to the elbow as you can see there is a difference not much of a difference but that's what I mean when I said taper so I kind of misspoke but it's not going to be as wide up here as it is down here close to the uh, elbow okay and then after we made those lines going to the elbow I'm gonna start up there make a curve coming out and then coming back in to make the wrist and do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And then for now, I'm just going to draw in a random hand movement for this character. But in advance, if you do want to learn how to draw different hand movements, I have three videos on how to draw hands. Two of them are public on YouTube. The other is exclusive on Patreon. So there will be links to both of those public hand videos in the description on this video. And there will also be a link to my Patreon so you can get to that exclusive how to draw hands video. But for now, I'm just going to draw in just a random hand movement for this mermaid character. 
on both hands actually i just finished this one hopefully you can see that with all the guidelines in the way but just drawing like a random hand down here like that specifically you don't have to do what i'm doing but Again, the choice is yours, what you're gonna do with the hands. And now let's transition lower so I can show you guys how to do the mermaid tail. Now, to some people, the mermaid tail may be their favorite part of drawing a mermaid because it's easier to draw than the human legs and feet because it's usually just one big line. But we're gonna start here at the torso and make sort of a curved line like this that goes to the center line. And then it's gonna this hand is in the way, but it's gonna make some sort of a hood shape connecting the female torso with the fish tail, or the mermaid tail in this case. So it's gonna look somewhat like hoods. If you've seen my how to draw hoods video, then I'm making the same thing here. And then doing the same thing right here. So again, that hood shape will be connecting the human body with the mermaid tail, like this. Apologize if you can't see it behind this hand, but that's the way I drew it. Okay, and then after drawing that, we can begin to draw the tail. So, the movement of the tail will match this line of action here. It's gonna make this curve, so the tail will be bent back that way. And all we got left to do is draw it. So. I'm going to start the tail right up here and then eventually I'm going to match this line so that way we can capture that movement. And then I'm going to have the tail coming past this line like that. And then the back of the tail will pretty much match this uh, line of action here. So big giant curve. Adjust it however. And the way the tail is drawn, it looks equal on both sides. When we're supposed to see more of this side than this side. So, all we gotta do is make some adjustments. And then we can come inwards on this side. So that way it kind of makes more sense. like that and now we see more of the tail on this side than this side so now it makes much more sense okay so now we can begin to draw the tail fins so you can pretty much freelance those they're pretty uh self-explanatory if you ask me just a little uh just a bunch of freelance curves like that okay and now I forgot to do this when drawing the torso, but we gotta add a bra to this character. So let's come back up to the torso. I'm gonna draw like a, a bra that's similar to Ariel's bra, where it looks like parts of a clamshell. So I'm gonna start here at the center line. Just make a bra shape and just draw lines on it to make it look like a clamshell. Okay, and now let's erase the contours and just fix those so that way it kind of looks like Ariel's bra. Yeah, so now it looks like she's under the sea. Okay. And now these two parts of the bra can be connected using like a little pearl. That's just one of those other ideas that I can just throw out there to you guys. And then, speaking of pearls, we can have like the bra straps being made of pearls 
silver bra strap coming around the neck. Just a series of circles being pearls. And then the back of the bra. Hopefully I can get some of that in there. And yeah. And then you can have some of the breasts showing. So I'm just drawing like a little Y shape up here. You probably can't see it because it's over top of the center line here. Okay, and if the belly button is shown, which it probably won't be because it's behind the hand in this case, just draw like a little belly button there. But let's come back down to the tail and just draw in some scales if you want. Just um, fill that blank space because it just looks very empty to me. You don't have to necessarily fill it, but I just feel that we can add some sorts of lines that indicate scales because, you know, mermaid tails have scales. So just um, a bunch of letter U shapes here and there, just like a, a pyramid kind of pattern. So I'm making three, then two, then one. That's what I like to do. Or I can start off with four, then three, two, one, or start off at five, then three, two, one, still making a pyramid. So right now I'm doing four, three, two, and then one. And then if I want to add a small pattern there, I can just do three, two, one, or just two and one. But if you want to draw every single scale on the mermaid tail, that's up to you. But personally, I'm not going to. And then I'm just going to add some texture onto this part of the tail that connects uh, the human part with the mermaid tail. Add some texture there, just a couple of lines. All right, and now we can zoom back out to see what we got. All right, and here's what our mermaid character looks like thus far. So at this stage, you can change up anything that you want. You can change up the hairstyle if you want, change the flower to like a starfish if you want. That's just another idea I can throw out there to you guys. Um, change up the bra, make that look a little different. Add some jewelry to the arms and hands if you want. Change, do whatever else you want to do with the mermaid tail. And yeah, so whatever accessories you want to add to the mermaid, do it now. Because what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to ink this drawing, give it some color, and show you guys what that looks like. And I'm going to do that in time lapse so I don't make the video super long. So, let's go. All right, and there you go. Here's what my mermaid looks like after adding all the colors. Now, in terms of a color scheme, you can develop any kind of color scheme that you want for your mermaid. That's up to you. But with that being said, that's about it. That's how you draw a mermaid, start to finish. So, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like